Churches are getting more creative in the way they raise cash, with more than 100 of them disguising a moneymaker right in their steeples and bell towers. 10 News reporter Craig Herrera has why you may see more cell phone towers in churches and what that does to their tax exempt status. Cell towers shoot up above the landscape, some 100 feet high. They keep us connected, but now some will be found on a different type of tower, a steeple, and it's a way for some churches to make cash. The church tie this down, all denominations nationwide, so if they're able to get additional income to, so they can keep going with the ministers they have, that's a big help. The Tierra Santa Seventh-day Adventist Church houses these receiver units on their building. They blend right into the architecture. The church gets $1,500 a month from Verizon. The other other units belong to AT&T and T-Mobile, but the church no longer gets money from them. We last year sold the lease, so we got a, a lump sum payment which enabled us to pay off the church mortgage. It's a money maker on a tax-exempt property, but the property where the units hang is considered non-exempt and Uncle Sam will collect. 2012 property tax was a little over $10,000. The San Diego County Assessor's Office tells 10 News there are 110 churches across the county with cell towers on their property and all are are required to let the county know. If you're exempted from property for any reason, like churches, you have the same self-reporting requirement as a business does. John and Berg tells 10 News San Diego churches have followed the rules because they are reimbursed by the cell phone companies for the amounts of property taxes they pay. And that amount is based on how much money the church is receiving from the cell phone company. In most cases, it's very, very small amount of property tax, but it relates to the value of the business piece property, the cell tower. In Tierra Santa, Craig Herrera, 10 News. Now, the San Diego County Assessor's Office tells 10 News it does not go out looking for these sites because the churches are required to report any business on their property. And no one is tracking how many churches in California have installed cell sites.